Hey guys, what's going on? Big Fultz here, bringing you guys another basic gameplay. And today I have a, you know, really good gameplay. This is actually better than I thought it was. This is 126 to 2 with a 126 kill streak. Um, I actually went back and watched this a couple of times. Yes, I have went on a 126 kill streak. I did not die once once I started my streaks, and that's what I really love about using the VSAT, man. Uh, when I'm using the load star, I feel like I'm a headless chicken when I'm using load star dogs and swarm. Uh, the streak is so high, and I just, you know, you don't know where anyone is, and it's really, I don't know, I really don't like it. Uh, so basically, um, I love using the VSAT dogs and swarm as, you know, a lot of people would say, but there's some people, I don't know, they just use the load star dogs and swarm, you know, maybe personal preference, uh, maybe it's harder for them to get gun kills, they don't play as rushy or whatever, but I feel like this gameplay is more entertaining, you know, more rushy, I pick up the VSAT and then I just kind of rush, and uh, yeah, so basically that's what I, I'm probably going to be getting most of my 100 pluses with this streak set up, um, you know, normally from now on. Uh, this gameplay could have been so much better. Uh, for about two minutes in the second round, there was only four enemies. And I think, man, if they would have stayed in there, um, it would have been a lot better gameplay for sure. Uh, probably 150 plus, you know, maybe more. Who knows? And the game ended a minute and a half early. So, yeah, that's my, I guess, excuses. You know, it seems like everyone has excuses for why their gameplay isn't better than it is. Uh, so, them are the two excuses I have for this game. So, uh, anyways, I got a topic I want to talk about right after I go over the class setup. Uh, the class setup I'm using in this is a PDW with silencer and fast mags. I really love this gun. Uh, I was using this gun a lot without the fast mags. I didn't think the fast mags were really necessary. Uh, but I ended up throwing them back on because a lot of people were just using it. And it's like, I don't know, dude. It's like a LMG with, you know, submachine gun movement speed. And uh, I don't know. It's just an amazing gun. I put the fast mags on. It reloads in like half a second. And I can really do work with this gun. Uh, so this is probably my favorite class setup right now. Uh, my perks, I'm using Hardline, Scavenger, Toughness, and Dexterity. Uh, that's my standard class setup, uh, perk setup for pretty much every gun. Uh, I don't use Ghost anymore. The Ghost perk to me is pretty useless. Um, so yeah, basically that's my class setup. Uh, like I already said, I'm using VSAT, Dogs, and Swarm. Uh, you know, a standard uh, killstreak setup, I guess you could say, as well. So uh, the topic I want to talk about today is my high school career and uh, my attendance, I guess you could say, in high school. Um, you know, I, I wasn't the best high school, um, student, I can tell you that. Um, you know, I may have been, like, not one of the bad kids, you know, that, like, fucks with everyone and just, like, talks shit to the teachers and stuff like that, which I, I guess I did talk shit to the teachers occasionally. Uh, depending on the teacher, I'd basically call him retarded. So, anyways, um, basically what I want to get after is, uh, my freshman year, I did pretty good for about a month. And then, uh, one day I ended up being tardy, which, if you don't know what that is, it's when you, like, show up late. For school or class or whatever that's what it's called where my school was uh, a lot of schools around us call it that too so uh, I don't know what if they call it different something else wherever you guys live or whatever um, but that's what it was called here and I actually showed up late and it's it's one of them things where you know you think you're gonna get in trouble um, but then you end up not getting in trouble and after doing it a while you kind of get used to it and you're kind of like you don't care anymore I guess you could say so I became tardy that time and then I started becoming tardy you know 30 minutes like every day literally I, I kid you not every single day I'd be tardy about 30 minutes a day uh, my freshman year and uh, you know it really upsets teachers uh, I, I'm sure if going back and thinking of it if you were a teacher and one of your students that was you know a pretty good student but he just didn't show up to your class in the mornings it, it would probably be a pretty bad feeling uh, I can kind of understand that now looking back but back then I really didn't give a shit I'm not gonna lie to you guys I could have really fucked up my life uh, going through high school because now high school dude that's like the minimum like if you don't do high school you're absolutely fucked nowadays um as for going for a job you're really not going to find anything if you drop out but um you know maybe you have bigger or better plans if, if that's what you really want to do go for it but really think that out so anyways after i got used to you know being late to school um over and over and over um i got used to it and then once i grown up grow up a little bit grown up once i grew up a little bit um, my, you know, sophomore, junior year, I started becoming late, literally. Um, I would show up at 9 or 10 a.m. when school actually started at about 7.25. School started at 7.25. I'd be two hours late, three hours late every single day. And uh, I ended up getting put in ISS a lot in that. And uh, I actually liked getting put in ISS because back then, um, it wasn't the same my senior year, but my sophomore and junior year, uh, the guy would just let you sleep, so basically it would be like I didn't have to switch classes because I pretty much slept in every class. Um, I come, I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I don't want to get off topic, but yeah, I would be late every single day, and I got put in ISS a lot. I would say out of the four years I was supposed to attend high school, 
I probably actually attended maybe 33% attendance, and that's not an exaggeration. That's that's real. <laughs> it's actually pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, and my normal high school day, uh, I'm pretty smart. So you know, we'd get the paper in the beginning of class. I'd do it in about five or ten minutes. Um, and then the teacher would have to, you know, talk about that paper and instruct different people, you know, that weren't as smart or whatever. They were just jacking around, you know. They would have to explain that paper to them over and over and over for about an hour. And I'd fall asleep and then I'd miss the next paper or whatever. So that's why I didn't have, really have the best grades. Um, so, yeah, I would, I would sleep in every class. And that's why I loved going in ISS. Instead of having that, you know, bell ring between each class to go to each class, I would just, you know, go in there and sleep for eight hours straight and stay up all night. And then go there, and that's when I would sleep, and then go back home and play games all day again. That's really what I did, and uh, that's why I liked it. But I uh, ended up, um, a little bit before Christmas break on my junior year, I ended up dropping out of school. I was um, sick for about a month straight, and my grades just fell to shit. Literally, I had like 20% in most of my classes, because uh, I didn't attend school for about three weeks or a month straight, because I was really sick. And uh, so I ended up dropping out, and... Uh, the second semester of my senior year, you know, I, I really didn't do anything. Um, I kind of told my parents, you know, I was going to do stuff, but I never really did it. I wasn't planning to do it or anything like that. And uh, what ended up happening, uh, my mom contacted my counselor from school. And I went to this program where it's basically like you do your GED, but you attend school. You have to go there for like two hours a day, which was really good for me because it was in the middle of the day. So I went from like 11 o'clock to like no not even 11 o'clock like nine o'clock to like noon something like that it was a lot easier for me than going the full day and basically i went there and studied for the test the ged and once i did the ged they basically gave me my diploma so um that's what i ended up doing out of that class me and my buddy uh luck of the irish who is aaron you know my friend uh, me and him were in that class with about mm, 10 other people and me and him were the only one that actually passed the test because the rest of the guys just like goofed off and not only that they weren't even smart really they were just kind of the like druggies basically uh, so, yeah, that's basically my high school story. I ended up graduating, and everyone at graduation was like, how the hell did you graduate, dude? And I was just like, yeah, because I'm smart. And it was kind of like a bragging thing. Um, I just thought I would kind of, uh, you know, share this with you guys. I thought it was a pretty cool story. Uh, high school, I guess, was pretty much luck to me, I guess you could say. But, yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, please leave me some comments and feedback and everything like that. Thanks for watching.